startup of today's webinar, Madam Barbara Smith from Ruhr area, Germany, who is an international jury member also, and who strongly believes on the famous quote of a page that is, you are your own limit, rise above it. Please welcome Madam Barbara with a big hand. In today's webinar, Barbara Ma'am is going to show us one of our best presentation, which is prepared based on lines and perspective through architecture photography. Uh, Those she will be introduced in a better way through her conversation with Sir Mukesh Sivastav, President of the But I would like to highlight some of his her great achievement in the field of photography. Madam Barbara is graduated in administrative science and after rendering her service for more than 40 years as a civil servant, she retired in September 2015. Barbara and her Fuji XT2 have been on the road since May 2014. She does not go out with the intention of bringing a certain picture with her, but goes to places where she wants to be and expect what may come there. And this brings special and very successful images for her. Video. Since the first acceptance in 2016 at German International DVA Photo she is awarded by 5,000 acceptance with over 500 awards so far. What a big achievement. Uh, 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 I would like to say that uh, her list of honors is very long. Uh, it will take uh, more than, uh, I think, uh, 20 minutes to half an hour to read out. Uh, so I am not going to uh, read out her um, uh, achievements. Uh, I will uh, request uh, Sir Mukesh Sivastav, as you will uh, know uh, her uh, gradually when uh, she will be in conversation with Sir Mukesh Sivastav. And I will uh, request Sir Mukesh Sivastav to for onward proceedings. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Anupama Banerjee. Uh, uh, before I start a few questions to Barbara, uh, I would like to uh, describe her honors in brief. Barbara has got MPSA to EPF branch, GPU CR4, GPU VIP3, GPU GSS, RISF10, AISF, and so many other honors. Mm -hmm. uh, the list of honors is almost like a big, uh, uh, you can say, garland to her. Okay. Uh, so, uh, before uh, I start asking her question, I will share my screen. And I wanted to give a good surprise, not only to Barbara, to all of you today. A big surprise. I am sharing my screen now. First of all, I would like to show a glimpse of her portfolio submitted for EPF. First image. Next. Are you seeing my screen? Yes, yes. Fine. Sir. <coughs> This is the portfolio submitted by her for EPF. And now here the time comes how she loves India. You will come to know in all those details I am showing just now. Barbara Smith visited India in 2010, almost 10 years back as a traveler and she visited Delhi, Agra, Varanasi, Jaipur, Chennai, and Kochi, and so many other places during that uh, as a traveler. Then in 2019, visited India as a photographer. 
she was in calcutta she went to delhi agra etc and then again she was a, invited as a guest in calcutta in 2020 so now a surprise for barbara this is her visit in banarasi with tanya chatterjee again varanasi and this is from agra sona benival with sona benival with sona benival i think the next man is arun saha i think yes so. correct arun saha arun saha <coughs> and he is rk jain from delhi rajkumar jain and subrato bhai sahab who uh, invited her as a guest uh, uh, from chhayapat with sk mandal sr mandal oh yeah sr sr mandal sorry sr mandal and this is the group photograph another with amitabh sil sir yeah abhishek das subrato kumar das sir uh, principal institute of photo art damdam calcutta with sir mandal sir and truly she loves our india and she speaks that india is incredible thanks to you barbara very much thank you how oh, to jal jal you surprised me very much this image uh, uh, i have not seen them before yeah 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 from you <laughs> that's why i wanted to give you a surprise okay yes, lectures in whole india <laughs> yeah uh, now to make the uh, our webinar uh, more lively and uh, and uh, to know about you more in detail i will ask only uh, two questions from you barbara uh, the first question is you visited india three times uh, will you please describe about your experience and feelings about the people about the culture and the most important architecture of india over to barbara um my first journey to india i can only say incredible incredible and you cannot say it often enough because a complete new world and nearly it is too much if you uh, experience it the first time and uh, india is not a country india is a continent and uh, i went from north to south and east to west and it is so different so um it was a lot only to to get an impression it is so big and so different and um i felt i want to know more about that country and uh, this first impression that all is so much different maybe it depends on that you need to uh, meet people and ask the people and the people show you and uh, my second visit was possible 2019 and there i met people and before i had uh, the friends from facebook here are the photographers and they explained me such a lot and then you feel it is so near it is not uh, complete different because what soul needs is the same all over in the world what cover what place if you have sun or rain or cold or hot or what else that is not really <clears throat> a difference 
soul is always the same. And then you come nearer and you feel the contact. We are all from the same source. And like I told you, when Sona and I, we met in uh, Agra, we said we are nearly one. So then you feel how near it is all and you learn such a lot from the others. And that makes rich to experience more about life wherever in the world it is. And I feel very, very well, especially in Bengal. Um, I was in Africa, in America, in North and South, but I have a feeling maybe my soul is at home in, especially in Bengal. Uh, so I had a feeling I should go again there to, for my own well feeling. I'm there at the right place. And so in 2020, I came again to Bengal. It was uh, Kolkata and again, three weeks more in um, Bangladesh, like in 2019. So I experienced six weeks Bangladesh. That is, uh, I think, special uh, for a German woman, but it is complete well feeling. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, I think we, we, we all Indians are very happy to know that India is almost like a second home for you, especially Bengal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, uh, how do you find the similarity or variations in Indian and German culture? Because you know German culture, you have seen Indian culture very well. So please describe in a few words. Mm, that is not possible in a few words. Okay. Because many, many yeah, yeah. things, uh, people okay. think it yeah. is complete different. Uh, my opinion is it is not. Um, sometimes um, it is because um, people here have not enough understanding. If you have more understanding uh, from the things going on, you find it is similar, very, very similar. But uh, other names or, yes, understanding is missing if they have uh, the idea it is complete different. In fact, it is not. But behavior of people is different. The people are more in... In, in the being, how are you? That is important for the people. And people care good for themselves and so they can uh, good be interested in other people's um, behavior and feeling. And that is in our culture not. All the people are more lonely and separated and closed. And it is easier to get in contact to people in uh, India or in Bengal, like here in Europe. Thank you very much, Barbara. Uh, you have made us to know about the German culture also. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Now, next, I'll request. Dev Patil. Uh, to uh, give a technical presentation. On advantages of mirrorless camera over DSLR. Dev Patil, over to you. Hello, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Welcome and good evening. And it's an honor to meet you all at one place. So many veteran photographers and I'm getting a pleasure to do a, uh, like such a, a big session for you. So just ten, I will take just 10 minutes of time before I hand over the uh, platform to Ms. Barbara for our presentation. So yes, uh, so as we have discussed, so there are many things when we go out in the market to buy a camera, right? So the basic thing when we go out in the mar uh, market these days, we have two things to understand here. So one is whether to go to buy a DSLR or to go to buy a mirrorless camera, right? So today's presentation, I will cover just few pointers on which whether to go for a DSLR camera or, or to go with a mirrorless camera. So to start with, uh, in layman speaking, uh, if I have to say what is a mirrorless camera, then when you remove the mirror and the pentaprism from your DSLR camera, it turns into a mirrorless camera, right? So you have seen mirrorless cameras since, uh, I guess, from past 10, 15 years so far. So even the basic version of the mirrorless camera, if I have to say, then those are your point and shoot cameras, right? So the point and shoot cameras, which Nikon is producing the Bullpix cameras, so, right? Those are the first generations of the mirrorless camera. But today, the one which we are using are far more advanced, are far more developed up compared to the previous version. So the major advantage of today's mirrorless cameras are, one, you have a bigger sensor. Second, 
the lenses are interchangeable. So on the point and shoot camera, you have to fix with the standard focal length or the zoom range that you get with the camera. But in case of the mirrorless camera that we have, we have this interchangeable lenses. It is same like your DSLR cameras, right? Now, when I talk about Nikon, then in Nikon, we have two various formats in which the cameras are available. One is your full frame cameras, which we call these FX. And the other one is your crop uh, camera, uh, ca crop sensor cameras, which we call as DX cameras, right? So moving further in this, now let's understand ki what are the technological advantages of the mirrorless cameras that makes them superior as compared to the DSLRs, right? So the very first thing, as I said, because we have removed the uh, mirror and the pentaprism from the camera, the camera system, the entire weight of the system has become a very lightweight thing, right? So this helps you to go in a situation or to go in a places where ideally a DSLR could not. Because it is a lightweight camera, you can again play with the angles, you can play with the bird's eye view or the bug's eye view. Because the camera is lightweight, uh, that is the one advantage that you get, right? Moving forward, now the cameras get in-body image stabilization. So previously, the stabilization was not available on the sensor. It was there on your lenses, right? So we used to use this VR lenses and all. <clears throat> now, in case of mirrorless camera, the advantage that you get is the image stabilization is present on your image sensor. And that too, it is a 5 axis image stabilization. So as a photographer, what is the advantage that you get? So let's say you want to shoot an image in an extremely low light condition where you want to take the advantage of the ambient light okay so over there as a rule of thumb we say we can go bare minimum up to uh, 1 by 80th of a second to avoid the handshake in the image right but since we have now 5 excess image stabilization available on your sensor you can even shoot up to 1 by 20th or 1 by 10th of a second handled without any tripod the only condition is your subject should be standstill or steady Okay, so this is one of the major advantage that you get of the mirrorless camera key. The sensor is having the image stabilization inbuilt. Moving forward, the next and the major development that a mirrorless camera has is over the image or you can say the electronic viewfinder. So on your DSLR camera, we use the OVF that stands for your optical viewfinder. But in case of mirrorless camera, since there is no mirror, or pentaprism, we are using the electronic viewfinder. Now, how this electronic viewfinder helps you in case of photography? So let's understand that one by one. So the very first thing that uh, the electronic viewfinder helps you in, ki it gives you the actual image that you're going to shoot even before you press the shutter release button. So based on your ambient light, what are the exposure that you play with? So uh, whatever is your shutter speed, your aperture, uh, uh, even the white balance or the picture control. So all together, what mm -hmm. final result you're going to get is able, you are able to view that in your electronic viewfinder even before you press the shutter release button. So this helps you to capture a better movement to capture a better picture so that later on you don't have to worry about maybe my exposure must have gone wrong or somewhere right so other thing that has also been included in the mirrorless camera is that let's say if you don't want to use the electronic viewfinder you are comfortable with your original ovf so what you can do is there is a setting called apply setting in live view that stands in nikon camera that is d8 setting so you can just Turn it off and now you can use your electronic viewfinder similar to your OVF. Okay, so this helps you to focus in very extreme low light situations. So in case of Z6 that we are having as of now Z6 II, so you can even expose your image in uh, like you can focus, you can sharply gain focus even in minus six EV situation. So that is the, the, those are few of the advantages that you get of the mirrorless camera over the DSLRs. Apart from this, if you want, uh, like apart from this, there are two more advantages of the EVF. The second thing while shooting many a times we have to, uh, let's say we have to change uh, certain camera settings, right? For that, we need to take, uh, like we have to uh, get our camera off our vision and then we play around with the settings and then we resume shooting. So this thing can be avoided in mirrorless camera because on your EVF, you can 
control each and every camera system so e, uh, sorry if each and every camera menu right so you can control each and every setting on your camera just by looking into your evf so that is the second advantage that you get of the electronic viewfinder and the third uh, and third advantage if i have to say then many a times while shooting outdoors let's say when you're shooting uh, uh during the afternoon in bright sunlight many a times we are not able to view our, our images on the back of our camera right so at that point of time also you can view your images you can zoom in and check the details and the sharpness as well on your electronic viewfinder itself so these are all the advantages that you get of the electronic viewfinder now when i talk about the mirrorless body so just by removing the uh, shutter and penta prism and replacing it with the electronic viewfinder doesn't make a camera mirrorless right so there are few more things that have also been added when i talk about the nikon system so i have this nikon z72 which has recently been launched so the major uh, so the second uh, thing that technologically wise we have advanced is that uh, this is what we call this a mount diameter right so in case of mirrorless camera we have a bigger mount diameter of 40 55 mm so because of this what happens is you get more light on your sensor and you get edge to edge sharp images okay so this is especially uh, when you are shooting let's say you're, when you are shooting images of landscape or when you are doing something like uh, architecture or uh, interior shoot so at this at that point of time this feature comes very handy so when i talk about dslr camera since the mount diameter is small the less amount of light reaches the image sensor so edge to edge the light uh, penetration is not possible so when you uh, shoot a image on a dslr camera and if you zoom all the way in you can see your image is very sharp at the center but as you move towards the edges it is slightly soft i won't say it is uh, out of focus but it is slightly soft so this particular thing has been taken care of in the mirrorless camera so you get edge to edge sharp images when you are using your uh, mirrorless camera because of the bigger mount diameter right uh the third thing over here is to talk about is the flange distance so you can see the sensor is very closer to your mount so the distance between your sensor and the mount diameter is nothing but your flange distance so now what is the advantage that you get as a photographer because of a shorter flange distance let's discuss that so the first thing if you must have heard about the knock lens that nikon has produced so because of the shorter flange distance we are able to manufacture very fast aperture lenses and the one which we have right now that is the knock lens which is having a aperture wide aperture opening of just 0.95 the f stop is 0.95 which is less than 1 so because of the shorter flange distance we are able to manufacture such fast lenses apart from this the shorter flange distance also <coughs> the uh, shorter flange distance also helps us to produce manufacture lens which are having a very minimal focusing distance now what do i mean by that so the minimum focusing distance helps us to get very closer to the subject so let's say if you're using a lens like 2470 which is a ideal kit lens that we get right so from that lens you can shoot a decent landscape you can shoot your portraits you can even get closer to your subject and shoot a good product or insect shot as well i won't say it is as good as macro lens but yes you can get your job done okay Uh, so these are a uh, few of the technological changes that we have made in the camera now when i talk about when you look at the camera this is compact this is lightweight so very first thing that comes into the mind is whether the camera are made up of plastic so definitely no they are made up of same material that is the magnesium alloy which is used to manufacture your d850s or your d5 so it is made up of same metal same alloy magnesium alloy and so the build quality is equally robust and sturdy you get the better uh, even uh, when i talk about the ergonomics of the camera so the grip remains the same like your z uh, your like your d750 and when i talk about the uh, like when you have to access different different menu system on your camera so we have given this i button on the camera which helps you to uh, get through the frequently used menu system right so this are the few of the advantages that you get on the mirrorless camera and there are many more but uh, since uh, i guess we are uh, like i'm up with my time so i hand over the stage to mr 
and uh, thank you so much sir for giving this precious time to me thank you very much dev patil uh, i think i am very happy and even the participants are very happy to you know already. about the advantages of you know so well discussed by you aaj mere wale piche hi hu friends so on bringing such kind of technical district discussion uh, from the core india with our forthcoming webinars one by one so this is one next will be something different some different uh, uh, topic from nikon india for a technical session uh, with a technical expert from nikon india thank you dear patil very much thank you everyone thank you it was a pleasure meeting you all thank you now the time has arrived for barbara smith so today i will be working as an assistant to barbara smith and i will assist her in showing her images and she will describe her images one by one so let me share my screen now because i am having all her uh, images with me So Barbara, let's start. Yes, I welcome all the photographers across the globe, and I'm thankful to Mukesh, who does all the background work for me because I'm not able to handle such a software and a presentation. Uh, so I'm always in contact with Mukesh, and he does all the background. Uh, please next. Today I am assistant to Barbara Smith, Thank you. assisting from India, showing photograph from India. and she is speaking from germany this is a wonderful session <laughs> okay carry on uh all starts with this image that was the first image uh, i loved and um i gave to a contest and um when i gave this to a german state championship i immediately was the winner so all started in 2016 with this picture and there you see uh what i wanted to do i was interested in landscape um i'm interested in the light situation but my heart is for architecture and lines and all this is in this picture and uh the jury um on it it was all gave 10 points and uh so i immediately uh started uh with a winning next please with so uh, now let's go please. about her equipment she is very specific of choosing her equipments um so there are seven images only to show you how i'm working i have a mirrorless camera um because it's my first camera and it's the only one i could handle because i have wheel outside and i can turn them and uh, there is no program i want no program i need no program i want to see and if you understood uh, the game between iso and shutter speed and aperture uh, that is all what you need for your image and this is easy to um to um take with me it is not so heavy and i love my gitzo uh, tripod and a simple mono ball that is always good working uh very important for me is spirit uh, level um because if you uh take not the images with good care you lose um parts of the image later in post production that is not necessary and this bag is uh, the construction is because the color uh, protects um lenses and camera against heat and it is water resistant if i lose it in a river for uh, one hour i can pick it out and no drop of water inside and because of all my traveling i need uh things that take good care for my um equipment uh i searched very very long till i found a self filter system i like this is easy to handle uh i can always um switch the wheel and uh change the effect of the filters and i can add several filters and buy it big enough and uh you can use step up rings and uh, use them and at all lenses you have and it is true in color that is important 
Yes, and in this bag around my body, I have it uh, very easy. Um, and then you use it. It needs to be practical. Uh, we can show this very short. Uh, you will later see the image I took there. I will tell you when I sat on the ground. And a few minutes later, I'm lying on the ground because in no other way you can take the images. So sometimes to move and at any time it is possible to come up again. <laughs> yes, again, and I do not really um, notice if I'm lying there in the church uh, or similar. Um, because in this moment I'm concentrated uh, with the image, uh, with the architecture, um, but no people felt disturbed till now. Um, so it seems it is possible that you behave in such a way. Yes, we see the image later. <laughs> Enough, thank you. No. <clears throat> will be able to see her amazing images. Um, I try to make some chapters, but in yeah. fact, uh, you could uh, put them in others also, only to have some examples. Please show the next. Um, this image I like very much because um, it has every point of grayscale. Uh, it is from point 0 0.1 till 99.9 .9 and 100. I measured it uh, several times. And I think that is a very uh, lucky event. And um, I printed it on one meter and 40 centimeter aluminum. That material is good to this color. And my opinion is that Seoul agrees so much with this um, image because the blue is the real sky. I am lying in the cellar of the building. This is a stair and the window in the middle is in the roof of the building. So if there is some color, some people said, ah, it is not correctly uh, the white because the painter <laughs> could not um, uh, touch it better. This is the same stair. And uh, so in the middle, in the ground, I was lying and took the image how um, the object appears is uh, how you look at it and how you want to show it. So um, this is more elegant. And the next, she or she has the same, has a complete um, um, different um, mood, I think. Yeah, every image is another one. Uh, in this case, I needed ISO 12,800 because uh, it was only very short possible to enter this uh, staircase and a uh, tripod is not allowed, um, but I think it is a special one. And if you have no other chance, then take that image that is possible in this moment. Otherwise you will miss it always. It takes long uh, to find the position. I go round and round and have a feeling, uh, how may I show the object How can I well with it? Um, it is a little bit of game what we do with photography. And um, I like this vision, but against the windows, there is more and more light. And um, then you have to uh, think a little bit uh, what to do with all this light. And sometimes the solution is in another way than you expected. Um, I gave more light and then it was possible. So not always there is a lot of light. I go down with the light. No, maybe if you give more, it can work. Try it. This is the same stair and uh, looking upwards. And the people down wanted to disturb me, but uh, let them do what they want. Take your image. Um, this image um, I tried many times and had the idea, I see it, I see it, but it is not working. And then I noticed you try it with a wide angle. Maybe you should um, zoom a little bit. And then suddenly it came. So not always the most wide image you can take is the best one. Uh, try different things. Uh, this stair I tried from down, I was not really happy, um, then I thought go up and look down, maybe that is different. 
And uh, here I found the solution to um, use the part, the white part of uh, that belongs to the stair as a part of the whole image. This is the same, same stair again. In uh, color and uh, new vision, you have a new experience. The same. And here I could not switch off the light and uh, that the light is not disturbing, I have to live with it. So I gave a part of 16 and um, uh, white angle um, to use this for my image. So what you cannot change, build it in your, use it in your composition. Mm, this I like not, this is only to show the next. Because suddenly um, there came shadow, there were uh, clouds and um, from the window, the shadow came in the stair. And then I had a feeling now it is a little bit alive and now I like it. The same stair, now we had three times the same. And here I want to show, I could not uh, choose to, I could not stand at another point, but I like the shadow and stair. If you have only one point, take it, but um, uh, give your fantasy room, um, what could you do else? And there I decided give her a little bit more space. If she is on the left side, it is not boring, then it is interesting. So you need not always other lenses or other place and there was a wall, I could only take this one image or no, and then you make your composition later at home. Yeah, Firebird um, uh, is from, this, this is the name of the uh, image. I was in um, a restaurant and I have not noticed that when I go to washing room, I had my camera in my hand and um, the washing room was downstairs and uh, suddenly I see this and think, oh good, you have your camera, take the image. And I hear um, four men at the next table that they are speaking and speak about me. And um, I took my image and I went to them and I said, is there any problem? And they said, yes, there is no motive, but you take an image. And I said, if you cannot see it, I cannot explain you. <laughs> If there is a figure in your image, uh, it gives another impression because you have a reference point uh, or you can use it as an eye catcher. For this image, I worked much more than two hours because light situation was different. And even I have a lot of experience, every station in underground is a new one. And if there is now new light, you have a complete new situation. And when I decided now I'm really happy uh, with the frame, but now I need a point with a little bit color. And I'm not good in Photoshop. I do not want it, I do not need it. If I want a person with color and I said, in this case, I would take red then I stay there and wait. And if it needs half an hour more, I stay half an hour more. So maybe um, complete this image uh, took me two and a half hours, but I want to be there to do it in this way. Uh, here I had to fight against with the light, but at any time uh, there came a person and uh, then with a, a short uh, shutter speed, that is not um, so complicated. At any time, always a person comes in an underground station. This image I like very much, Barbara. Yes, I had the idea, um, maybe it is not allowed that the person is um, recognizable. And uh, so take a little bit longer um, shutter speed. And then I heard the steps and from the steps I heard a woman is coming. Maybe that is more interesting like a man, but I need any person. And I 
um, because some persons came earlier, I had the experience, now I have to push the bottom because I use, um, oh, what is the English word? Um, two seconds, Mukesh, help me, what is it? That camera. Should that a speed? No, that um, uh, self timer, two second self timer. Oh, okay. So, and I knew now I have to um, not to disturb the camera. And so now I knew now I have to push the button, and then the person will appear in my composition. And uh, that is the story of this image. And the same in this, it's the same tunnel to the other side. Yes, only to show that it makes a difference if the person is very small, but you get a reference point. Um, this person I wish not to have, but he wanted to disturb me. And in this moment, I noticed I'm ready with my equipment for my image. And um, he fits good in the whole uh, situation. So I pushed the bottom too. He has not noticed, but I have a better image. Yeah. <laughs> um, there again, first I have the frame, I have the composition, and then I decided I need a person in it. Otherwise it is boring. And then a man came uh, stairs down and there I felt I would feel more well with a woman um, going upstairs and uh, then wait at any time it may happen. Yeah, and there I had, um, I was photographing a very colorful station. You will see it later with yellow and blue and more colors. And in this moment, um, there was in my mind the idea what is behind you. I turned and all was gray and concrete. And that is what I love more than uh, all the colors. And when this man appear, I thought, are they disturbing? No, I had the camera um, for the other direction prepared, awaiting a train coming in the stair, in the station. And then I had the idea what is good for the train, maybe is also good for the man. <laughs> so this image and the image before the woman on the white uh, stair, I show them together. I printed them on uh, 70 centimeters aluminium and this both images, the white and the dark, fit good together. Again, a situation that is difficult because outside it is sun, sun, sun. Um, it is in Iran in a big old mosque. And I love this architecture, but there is a person needed. And I said, I will wait here. How long it may take <laughs> and uh, till they push me out in the evening. But at any time there comes a person and when this wonderful woman appeared, uh, I was praying to heaven, let her take the scarf, let her take the scarf. And she did. And in this moment, you can use it. Again, in high noon in the desert in uh, Iran, it is very difficult to take an image. And um, this very, very old architecture um, needs a reference point. And there was no, and I had to go away. And I turned around several times. Is anything possible? What can you do? And suddenly this woman appeared. And with Zoom, it was possible. And for me, it's the only idea I had how to show such an architecture. Yes, that is a game. Uh, can I show straight lines on an escalator? Um, how feels uh, your eye well um, with such a situation? And here, uh, it was closing time. I had to leave this mosque but I saw the light and I um, very fast went to this place and thought I will not leave the place without an image. So this image is very, very fast and sometimes you need long time. It is always a new situation.
Um, this I um, I called manage a problem. I want to explain a little bit. Um, to take always the image you want to take and agree with the situation like it is. This is Cologne Cathedral, and I thought I may never show this image. It has 5,000 ISO, um, and I'm staying in a part where normally you, you are not allowed to go. You cannot reach it, and uh, it is all under construction site, and I have the opportunity to be there, and then I thought, take what you can take. Uh, otherwise, people have not an impression of this building. And uh, later, no one complained because of the big noise in this image. This is again a church. And if it is very dark, uh, so um, find the solution. You need not always um, a very wide open aperture. Here it is 5.6. I think it is enough. But decide for every image new where should be your sharpest point. I have a little joystick at my camera and I can switch it in the part and uh, show camera how where I want to have it and how big I want to have it. And you can also make ISO a little bit higher. You can um, make uh, shutter speed a little bit longer and you will need not uh, so much light make it a little bit darker and then you will have an image if it uh, looks difficult in the beginning but always a solution is possible here i wanted to try if it is possible with eight millimeters fish eye um, and my idea is if you have round parts in your image um, Fish eye is possible, then you are not too much disturbing in um, distortion. And here you see the uh, room is round building, and then uh, fish eye works, and you can uh, have the most um, uh, parts to show from, from the place. This is again a very, very dark uh, room. Uh, so ISO is again very high, 3,200 um, and a part of four. So um, that is uh, the way to see what is possible. And the composing, the um, composition was clear for me and then waiting and at any time a person appears but I shoot only a single image always. Um, I have not this ra -ta 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 -ta. No, I click one time. Um, so sometimes people say, oh, you could have used the next image. I have no next. I have this one and that is all. Here again, if something is missing, wait. It will appear in, um, in what way ever. Um, I liked the stairs, I agreed with this, but it was empty. And a few minutes later, this bird came. And as little as it is, it is enough. <laughs> yes, the weather was not uh, like you wish it, no blue sky, but take it like it is. If it is foggy, then make the best foggy image of the location where you are, otherwise you have nothing. Mm. Here I turned around because I had a big problem with the white light. It is a lamp and it is terrible, terrible white. What to do with this white lamp? And normally it is straight. And the solution was again to use uh, fish eye because here the distortion is wanted. In the middle, the stair goes round. So it is possible to do it. You have not a strange feeling. It's it is possible that it looks in this way. And if I come nearer to this white, I could use it as the leading line. Now it is the main point to lead your eye in this whole image. Uh, yes, in Germany, you are not allowed to um, 
photograph people recognizable. And so I used a uh, long time. This image is 6.5 seconds and uh, it is with aperture 16. And normally my images always have uh, ISO 200 because that is the lowest I can use to produce raw images. I only make raw, always and only. Again, only um, with the three, uh, what are the word chimney? The three big, Mukesh one back please. Yes, um, you need never such an image, but if there is a story, it looks like father, mother, child, you suddenly have an idea how you could take it. We can go in the other direction. Mukesh, we can go. And next or before? Yes, this is, uh, this is, no, no, um, the colorful, one to left, yes. Um, and here there is, an, is it elevator or sometimes I'm searching words. I, uh, no, please let this other one after the tennis, right? To right. This one? No, to right, next, over next. That's this one. No? <laughs> Back. Which one? Tell me. In the other direction. Two back. One more. Yes. One more back. This one? Mm -mm. In the other direction. Left side. This one? No. No, before the white. One earlier. Yes, this one. No? That previous one. He's jumping. <laughs> that Mukesh, previous one. Is. <coughs> it's before this? No, the next, please. <coughs> this was earlier, the next. Make a new. 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 Stop. Next. And this, so one, this one. one. Oh, oh it, it is jumping. Just, just previous one. It wants not to stay with us, um, the colorful. Um, okay, so we speak about this white one. Um, I like this appearance like in a palace, but it is in the underground and it is not so clean. And I wanted to have a clean and white um, impression of this location. So I gave more light and later in post-production, I gave much more light. And that makes the image appear <coughs> more clean. Yes. And here I had the problem, the one earlier. One is jumping, Mukesh. One is jumping. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. Uh, there is only one straight line. And my idea is you need a straight line. It's the big pillar and it is the elevator. All other lines um, are not straight. And um, my opinion is there should be a straight line to feel well with an image, otherwise, um, you think there is done something wrong? Yes. And here again, a lot of light and it was uh, deep in the <coughs> evening and uh, uh, it seems to me a little bit boring without a little bit life waiting for the train and suddenly some people appear and image has another impression. Hmm? In Toronto, in Canada, um, there was not enough space to uh, take the big houses. So I um, used the canopy uh, and included it as a frame. And if you have this idea, you see it uh, easily. So the next is similar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next image. This is only about lines and that is one of our themes. Uh, so if there is nothing, then play with the room. There are lines, how can you use them? And here again, it is all about lines, your composition. 
or what parts you may use. Okay, um, so wait a moment from this last uh, chapter. Um, if you recognize the problem that you have, if you uh, think it is a problem, um, you will find a solution. And uh, sometimes try the opposite of that, what is your first thinking. Sometimes it works in another way and you are surprised. I love this image very much. Taken by 8, eight millimeter, I think. Yes, that is eight millimeters. <laughs> yeah. And that is again, a church. church. And uh, the middle of the um, image is really the middle of the ceiling in the church. And if you look at the left side, you see the lamp that is normally also staying on the bottom of the church. Um, so there should be distortion a lot, a lot, a lot. But in this image, it is not disturbing. And that I was wondering. And uh, this church is very, very dark because it has not um, windows like you normally expect in a church. And so again, I was lying in the middle and the most time I need find the middle, find it very, very exactly. Otherwise you lose parts of your image. And um, then again, camera on the, um, gorilla pot on this little tripod and um, give camera time it collects the light so it's a question of time and you can make an image and this image i got the silver globe in Siena too for this church sailing concrete we saw so it is one of a really successful image uh, this and the next is the same so all depends on your position, on your perspective, how you move and what is the point of your interest and what is your idea of the image. And for that, houses are wonderful because they stay there. They stay there next year too. You have time. You only need your idea. And it looks so uh, simple, but to learn to photograph straight and to be in the middle, um, you can use it. Uh, you can try it several times to become a little bit used to it. And one day it is easy and another day you have the idea, I will not find the middle. So it depends all on the photographer and his situation um, in, in this time. And this image, I'm a little bit proud about it. Um, the, the old how this. Stop um, a moment back, please, Mukesh. Next. Uh, no, first, before. Before, before. Yes, because now you cannot take it. The point where I stood, I had to climb up a little bit on a little mountain to have this straight position to these houses. And in the meantime, um, there is a forest and you have only trees in front of your lenses. So this image, no one can uh, make it nowadays. So do it when it is possible, otherwise you will miss it and regret. Next, please. Yes, and here again, uh, find a leading line and uh, here is the mirroring in the street lamp and um, all these lines are playing together. This is again a fish eye image. And I uh, went very near because I had not really an idea what to do with this house. It looks like symmetry, but it is not uh, what to do with it. And then I saw this cloud in the sky, was interested in the cloud and uh, the house is nearly the frame for the cloud but uh, also the cloud makes the house stronger. One depends on the other. Um, this is a museum. Um, many people photographed a lot and uh, they say all images are done, um, but this is immediately from the entrance. And uh, if you don't stay and wait um, and the people behind you will wait for a moment till you have your image, if they notice that you are concentrated in your doing, uh, they agree. And it is not impossible to stay in the entrance and uh, take an image from this part too. The same image is the next. 
it is in the same museum. And they all said, it is not possible, always people there. But if you wait, the other people wait and you can have an image. Yes. And here camera on the ground. So change the position, have a look. What is important for you? What do you want to show? Yeah, I told Mukesh I was there only for a very short impression and I could not go and do more because um, I needed time for other things. And then I said, if you can take only one image, do it as good as you can and you will always remember this place and um, these feelings in this moment. So, um, and lines are my uh, theme and uh, I agreed with it round and the leading lines in the middle. Amazing picture. And this I wanted without person. Otherwise, I would have waited because there are a few minutes that comes someone. <laughs> wait. Actually, just to wait for a minute because I have to make screenshots. I have missed a lot of screenshots. So uh, how, how to do it? Let me see. That's the problem. Wait, Barbara, wait for a minute. Yes, yes, yes I'm here. <laughs> uh, let me take a screenshot. Uh, not Benida, can you help me how to bring uh, Photoshop? I am taking, I am taking screenshot, sir, continuously. Le rahe hain aap? Yes, sir. I am okay. taking so many screenshots of the image with the ma'am. Okay, very good, very good. Carry on. Yes. Mukesh wanted uh, this black and white image. He likes yeah. it so much. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is again a station. Now it is closed and uh, no people there. Um, so later you have memories, like always in images from landscape, architecture, and always the same. Um, this I was behind glass because I'm high in this uh, car tower. Uh, where new cars are waiting for um, delivery to, to the buyers. To, uh, and press your camera. I was not prepared to this situation. Um, but then press your lenses as close to the glass as possible. And um, because there I had no filters and I have not known that this may happen. I had only camera and uh, wide angle and then take it in this way. This is one also I like most. Uh, this is the image we saw in the beginning when I was sitting on the ground and a few minutes later, I was lying on the ground. In sitting, I checked, is it worse? And then I, my idea was, it is worse. Lay down on the ground uh, and then I forget uh, if people are wondering or what they may thinking or talking to me, then I'm only connected with the image. And uh, I had to do uh, with, look, how do you want to have the lines? And um, I think it was a good decision. Yes, only to show if you are in front of a house, what is possible. So this is not a nice picture only to deliver ideas, try all what is in your mind. And if you do it a little bit like a, like a sports game, uh, is it possible at any time later you needed this experience? Here again, uh, the mirroring was interesting, but it was still raining. But uh, for one um, image, um, it is most time possible. Clean camera. Um, first you have a look and have the idea and then for one image you can do it even in rain. Yes, I was interested in the stairs. Um, that means not um, that you always show um, a lot from your main interest point. If you um, build it um, in a good point in the whole composition, maybe it is better image. These are two images from the same station. How different it, it is if you change your position. 
So on the next one, it is it looks much more deeper. Um, here I collected some images. I would say the uh, main point is the symmetry. Um, and this first image, um, I think, is a good example because um, the lines are not really straight. But if you're complete in symmetry, um, I think it is possible to do it. So find the middle point and um, searching and finding symmetry is also a thing you can do it uh, very often and um, it needs a little bit training. From this image and the next following two, uh, this is all the same room, the same window in a roof. And I changed my position um, only a little bit and you have a complete new vision. Yes, uh, I made, I think, 10 different images. I choose only the three to show you. Sometimes you have a place you can spend an hour or longer there because it delivers a lot if you change your lenses or your, you go down or high or a step uh, towards it or back. Always a new impression, the same room, same window. Following our um, church sailing images, it's from one is from Winchester and one is from Bath Cathedral. I think uh, this should be Bath. And um, that is when you saw I went on the floor and uh, took the image. Um, then I follow only, it is only possible in this way, do it, do it, do it. Um, otherwise you get it not. Next is similar. Yes, and um, then you have to uh, check several times your camera. Uh, if it is the middle, if you are at the right point, because otherwise you, you lose a lot. And this is, if it is possible, it's, uh, 30, it's too fast. Um, Mukesh, go a little bit back. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to um, do it with my 35 um, millimeters prime lens because um, uh, in difficult light, it delivers better result. Um, but this church is under construction and then it is really work. Where can I stay? How far can I go? How long are, um, how high can I push the camera? Uh, but if uh, I get it, I'm satisfied, yes. Uh, I think the simple images, um, you only have to see it and take it as carefully as you can. And um, in my opinion, that makes an image stronger. Art hall with a um, lot of contrast. This is a very, very new image. And um, there I had only camera and one um, lens. And, um, but the idea is, is it possible? And I think to look up, there are two towers built next to each other. You can get a new impression. And this image uh, was again, very, very hard to find the middle. So if you stay at such a point and have the idea, it is not so easy, but it should be. No, sometimes it is not. And I left this point because I had a feeling I'm not able to do it. I do not understand why, but it is. And so I went, um, I left this plate, place completely and I um, took the image with the uh, white pillars with the gold we saw. And then I came back to this and I said, I try it again. I start again, where's the middle? How have I to, to count the things right and left and on the ground? And then it was possible. 
And the both images following, uh, this is called yellow and the next is called blue. It is um, a place, it has all the colors of a rainbow. And this is the situation when I had the idea what is behind you turn round and I first took the image in black and white with the three men walking. And then this colorful. So there were three, uh, let me say good images following one to the other. Yes. Uh, it is not important to what it is. You show it in the way you want to show it. Um, and maybe I love to go to every corner and look for every stair and go up and down. And it is a lot of um, searching and exploring a little bit. And uh, suddenly um, a room opens where you have it not expected. again to show how colorful underground stations can be. And if you choose the middle or if you change the middle a little bit, like in the next image, it depends on the impression you want to give. Mm -hmm. And if you take in, this is again an image from the beginning and I had enough to do with find the middle, uh, look for symmetry. Uh, I wanted to, um, to learn that. Um, but I have the impression it is not boring. You can do it for a while because always architecture is different, colors are different. So you have always a new image. And here again, if one thing is um, out of this symmetry, like this blue and white number four, that is enough and uh, image delivers um, enough interesting. I love to take images in the underground and one of the best places you can visit for that is uh, Stockholm, the capital city of uh, Sweden in Europe. And there is especially one line, the blue line, that is complete art. You can leave the train at every station and you can spend a week there to take images or more. Many, many, many thousands. <laughs> and if you say in my area it is more boring, there are not so interesting places, this is a boring place. But maybe there comes shadow. So it depends on your vision. If you make it look interesting or what is happening there, you just have to notice it. Sweet. Yes, impressions from underground. And if there is nothing, there is space, then take an image from poor space. How is it looking? I would say these um, pictures are more minimal or I looked more for the color and or for the shape. This is a noise barrier along a motorway. Um, but I was interested in this, um, in these shapes and I decided three is enough and I turned it and you decide what impression you want to deliver. Then I had the idea of three and I suddenly saw it. It is a part of a roof where you can buy ice cream. And so you can find it everywhere. And if you have the idea of three, they are following two more. The pipes and this and the next are the same. So if you can go several times to the same place, if the light is changing or if you say in color or in black and white, you have always a new image. So the world is so full of motives, we cannot take them all. This is a part of a ceiling and it was moving, the whole time moving. And it was the game, um, can I take this with a little bit of impression 
that it is moving, um, but I need any sharp point. So do whatever is in your mind. Here again, I had a story from Secret Garden in my uh, mind, and suddenly a window in old industry is enough. So for me, it is a game, and I had the idea how much is enough from a simple stare uh, to deliver an image. Color and shape, four. <laughs> and again, these are the houses in Rotterdam. You know them all, and all people take them in the middle um, with the vision to the sky. But uh, this architecture, like all architecture, uh, has also points where you can decide how much is needed uh, to give a typical impression of this. Then look what is typical. Is it the shape? Is it the color? And where is it visible? And how much is needed for um, a complete image? A stair inside, tripod for Gitten, uh, so I could push the camera uh, straight um, to the part you see at the bottom. And then it was possible uh, not to move camera and uh, take an impression. And that is not so easy to photograph like it looks because one is ceiling, one is the wall, and to um, bring it together in these parts because I'm not a photoshopper. Maybe people say, oh, I take two images and I put them later together. I'm not interested in such doing. I want it um, to photograph it in such a way or for me, it is not interested. And again, a famous building only to show a part. Typical are the windows, how to show them. Yes, color and shape four, I would say. Um, and again, I was so deep in my doing that I have not noticed that I was the last person in this um, house and they have not uh, awaited um, a person to be there and they closed all. <laughs> but normally if you're closed in a house, you always find any way to leave it again. Um, but first is to take the image. And here the art is from the... Um, from the stair itself, but it is my job how to show this art. This One of my favorite art. images from you. <laughs> um, yes, and it needs some time to move. Amazing, and amazing. And to check how many parts do I need um, and the most uh, difficult was, um, maybe I tried it with 10 different images and my idea was, why is it so hard? What is going on? Um, and then I noticed if the window is not straight, you feel not well with this image. Uh, then the other parts are unimportant. So you need the straight uh, window, maybe for to be yourself straight and feel well. And then all the others can move and uh, turn. It's a little bit round and it's changing gray. Then it is okay. This is the same building in another point. And um, I need not to add uh, a third lamp in, in Photoshop or something. If I see this, uh, and I saw it's a triangle and there are three lamps and then I react and then I am interested in, is it possible to show it in any way? Yes, simple, make it simple. <laughs> and here indeed I stood in the street because I decided I want to take my 35 millimeter prime lens. And then you need a little bit distance and I had not a millimeter more to the left because there is the next house. And I had to go back and stay in the street. And then I said, 
sorry, dear cars. <laughs> I uh, think you will not drive over me. I need a moment to take this image that is important for me. So I stood in the street and the cars were waiting <laughs> and no one uh, was using his horn. And when I finished, I said, thank you. <laughs> and then the cars moved on. Yes, new image from Denmark from Musikensus. I wanted to photograph inside and I came nearer and I said, ah, I love this impression and now this light. So take immediately an image. Maybe if you come back tomorrow or uh, in the afternoon, you have never the same light again. And there I was with Live Alvin from Denmark. And um, I uh, found in a corner a stair I could go up. And I said, I'm interested in this skylight. And uh, he followed me and said, how have you found this stair? He lives there, he is at home there. And he said, I never saw this stair. I said, because I follow my interest and I always searching for such opportunities. And my experience is where you are at home, it is more difficult for you to find um, uh, special opportunities because you are a little bit blind. And if you um, decide today I go out of my house and I will go out as if I come from the other end of the world and I see it first time uh, or you want to explain it all to, to a foreign person, then you again open your eyes. You give yourself a new chance. This is from far away building in uh, Hamburg. And if you connect it with a complete other thing, I was on a bridge and I said, I will take this part as it is the bottom of this. And I like the similar color in the building and the um, sky and uh, this building, they are playing a little bit uh, one with the other. And this is from Nira and you have a complete uh, uh, new impression and you see how big it is because some people are recognizable on the balcony. Uh, only a corner in a museum, but if there is a triangle, I react and I want to try, is anything possible? And there is shadow, there is light and you can only uh, deliver it in black and white, or that is my impression. Maybe I should do this in black and white too. <laughs> um, a stair and again from the ground and photographed towards the sky. Yes, this is our last chapter and I call it go out and have fun. The most important is that you go with your camera. And uh, that is something um, I, uh, that is my experience and uh, your wonderful Mr. Nikon presenter, maybe he is angry with me. I would say there is no camera that is not good enough. The most important is that you feel well with your camera and that you use it. If you have the best and uh, most expensive um, technic, what uh, is it if you don't go out, if you do not love it and if you make no images? So go out and um, get a feeling from the, at this point I have been uh, maybe two hours earlier and then I noticed light is changing, light is changing. Uh, but there was this point and there was anything missing. I think it was the light and then back, back, back running for half an hour and I was at this point again, but now it was in the right light. And here's Singapore, I said, today I make no uh, images because storm was coming. It was so windy and rain come and um, it was still raining and uh, you saw it is more and more and today nothing is possible outside and the uh, the ground is from wood, so it is not stable. But I decided I want an image from this and one image is always possible. So check the difficulties you have 
if it is rainy, clean your camera and for one image you can open the um, lenses and suddenly this girl with pink um, uh, pink was uh, running in the image I said yes she helped me but I need very short time because the ground is not stable so give the ISO higher make your shutter speed short and then you have a typical impression of this situation like it was This was double, sorry. <laughs> Next. Yes, and here I had a feeling, oh, it is such a lot of impressions, such a lot of um, forms. And again, I decided for black and white to show all these different forms. Um, but in um, black and white, I think it is not too much. chapel in the field and here it was important for me to have it not in the middle to come near to blue hour to have um, a little bit impression of evening outside but um, the light in the chapel switched on very interesting <laughs> tell the story. Uh, tell the i was story. so much uh, in work um, I do not know why, but my idea was, is it possible to get these two towers in one image? That was my idea and that I was straight following. And later at home, I recognized what is happening, yellow and blue color. What have you done? What happened? And uh, then I checked the time and a photographer friend, uh, he knew it first and told me, and then we checked it several times. It is exactly the time when blue hour, uh, what is first, golden hour, when blue, golden hour changes to blue hour in the evening. I have both in one image, golden hour and blue hour. And light, you have a lot, you have always uh, something with light impressions and that you can also use for your images. And the last two images, I want to say uh, goodbye from this um, uh, photo impression. This is from uh, Singapore, deep in the night. I was walking there since two hours. I met no other person and I feel complete well if it is quiet, if I am alone. And I said, oh, you see the uh, town going on um, behind this impressive um, architecture you can take it and the last image this one I reacted to the pillar and my idea was if you react to something and you have an idea this would be my image take it otherwise you will miss it and indeed that happened okay I thank you very much I hope it was not boring and a little bit interesting for you because my, my intent is I, I want to speak about how I do but I hope it may give ideas and uh, for you that you have an idea oh today I go out of the house and I see it a little bit different that would make me happy thank you and uh, the one image which you saw transition from uh, Blue uh, golden golden hour to blue hour is very unique, very unique and very incredible work by you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Barbara, uh, for presenting your uh, uh, images, and we were so much honored to see such incredible work by you. Uh, now, uh, <coughs> to open it for questions and answers because we have got enough time. Uh, we are running well in time. Exactly at 8.30, uh, it was over. You gave me all a Mukesh. <laughs> <laughs> we started right at 7 o'clock. Uh, we have finished your presentation at 8.30. Yes, sir. Please, Anil Singh, sir. I am spellbound. What to say? Uh, Barbara, I, I loved your presentation. Uh, the theme of your presentation was lines and perspective. Yes, lines are very, very important when we talk about fine art. 
there are many excellent fabulous images what to say i just enjoyed your presentation just enjoyed seeing your images it's excellent uh um i learned many things by seeing your images thank you thank you so very much barbara and thank you dharmat kambri <clears throat> for make me able to see these images uh sir there was a question mean a lot to me anil reza singh because i am a fan of your work and that is why i have the idea we would understand each other if we could go for a photo walk exactly <laughs> one day we will do god willing yes one day we may uh sir there was a question from jashwant ma'am there was a question from jashwant in chat that how much lens you have um for this uh, um photography we uh, speak uh, i do not only this things i always uh, um i do landscape and people and street and uh, other things and animals i do other things more but for this presentation there are three different it is the 8 mm it is the zoom 10 to um 24 mm and um there's a prime lens 35 mm that is enough any more questions friends uh, yes there was question from mukul sir that ma'am everywhere tripod has been used man do you use oh. tripod in everywhere no 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 uh, if it is possible but if i went uh, to um this underground stations i am a little bit crazy with photography um so i um went by car let me say more than 30000 kilometers in a year uh when i did um the stations in germany and i um i have to care for a daughter here at home so it is never easy so i put her in bed in the afternoon i jumped in my car i did 600 kilometers to munich and uh there i photographed uh, till deep in the night at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning i came out from the underground in my car and pushing home as fast as possible to be back in the morning when she awake and this i did many 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 times uh i live um in the middle of the northern part from germany um wahan se cut kiya to wahan se hat jayega yahan pe sab yahan jayega खाली कॉपी करते तो यहाँ भी रहता वहां भी रहता मतलब कंट्रोल कीजिए व्हाट इज हैपनिंग या समबडी सो नियर टू कोलोन सो आई हैव टू गो मेनी हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स टू हमबर्ग फ्रैंकफर्ट म्यूनिक एंड आई डिड इट सेवरल टाइम्स बिकॉज़ आई लव सो मच टू डू दिस एंड देन इट इज होल नाइट वर्किंग एंड देन आई आस्क यू नीड अ लोन्स you need it a written allowance i um it takes long time till you have it from the right place the paper that you can show it because there is uh, police and control and security and that they know yes barbara is allowed today to photograph at this station and then i'm prepared and i have my tripod to deliver the best but sometimes i'm surprised i'm um walking anywhere and i think oh this image i want and then i have other solutions make the time shorter or something then i have not a picture 11 then maybe 5.6 is enough or is a little bit higher so always what is possible thank you very much uh, aditya agrawal sahab are you here aditya agrawal sahab ah uh, barbara yeah your pictures are fantastic the lines and shapes especially the inner places of uh, churches and then uh, underground stations beautiful beautiful thank you thank, thank you. you very much our uh, my friend mr anil disal singh he is a master of this the lines and forms and shapes i know <laughs> now you are the second person i am seeing your pictures on the same theme almost and liking it thank you your and honor. especially the hard labor and determination 
to take these images even at the dead of night by keeping your daughter at home and running throughout the night and coming back in the morning it is something one should emulate from you thank you and also i thank you dcc and uh, my friend mr mukesh for giving us this opportunity to view such beautiful images thank you dcc thank you so much sir for the compliments we are honored shrish kapoor sir do you want to say something uh, welcome first first let me welcome you here uh, barbara smith uh, meet our shrish kapoor sir uh, he is uh, one of our uh, uh, in the friend circle and he is a master in landscape particularly himalayas no it was a really excellent experience i enjoyed each and every image i had to go some time out but i wish i will have your uh, recording with us i will enjoy it anil and you you are very similar to each other it is fabulous work we enjoyed it very much and may i request you to come to kosani sometime in the himalayas and bless us in our uh, landscape photography workshop sometime it was excellent outstanding images and some new thoughts we got here thank you very much mukesh ji thank you very much anil and thank you very much babara we really enjoyed it thank you uh, subhadra so, do you want to speak something kana likhe salu bol le to kana fi apu subhadra unmute subhadra unmute your mic उटलेंट that was a total different thing and you, 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 these are all new works i find here so barbar is always moving and getting the all the fabulous frames so we are we have learned a lot from it how to take the how to give the labor and how to make the frame thank you barbar it is an experience thank you so much dear french across the kumbhara yes tanoj are you here tanoj singh from melbourne are you here yes uh, 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 thank you thank you uh, for the opportunity and uh, thank you barbara uh, amazing pictures uh, i mean uh, next time i go down to the downtown melbourne i would have a totally different view uh, of looking at the buildings and shapes thank you uh, i i thoroughly enjoyed it amazing stuff thank you very much anybody else from the participants I would like to say uh, thank you to uh, Barbara. Um, yeah. Some stunning images. Uh, I particularly like your um, people in the architecture, where you get a sense of uh, scale. Um, your your attention to detail in the images is just absolutely mind blowing, um, and and it shows in in, in every image. Um, really enjoyed the uh, presentation. and like many people have said um it has given me a new uh plenty of ideas and uh i i will actually look now at buildings in a, in a different way thanks very much thank you so much for your more than friendly words brian and that is what makes it worth for if it gives something for the own uh, behavior and looking mm -hmm. and that enriches people that is what others give with their images to me and what we share and that is uh, why uh, photography can make us so happy because when we go outside and uh, we are really aware uh, of what we want and what is there um, we meet our best friend and that is ourselves and that is why it makes us so happy and why it is such a well feeling in this doing and the more people connect with themselves the more they are able uh, if they are interested in photography 
um, to show what is important for them. And the first is it is important for me. So if you do not like your image, it, it has no worth. Then it is not needed for no one. The first is you have to like it. But what you like and where is uh, so much love and then there is enough um, experience and knowledge in it, it is possible other people like it too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so now we should go for a vote of thanks. Uh, Sanjeet Mitrada, are you here? Sanjeet Mitrada. Uh, then, uh, uh, Tanoj, can you give a vote of thanks today? Mr. Mitra is here, sir, but uh, I think he has uh, some problem with audio. Okay, leave it, leave it. Uh, Tanoj, just uh, uh, spare time and give the vote of thanks. Uh, look, um, I, I, uh, I would uh, say that I'm, I'm commenting on somebody who is a master of what they do, uh, and uh, and it for me it was definitely a learning experience, and as many others have uh, probably, and all shared the same sentiment, uh, and uh, all I would like to just say here is totally. Uh, 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 totally overwhelmed with the amazing work shown today. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, Barbara. I thank you so much for inviting me. Um, big, big thank to Mukesh. I think he had yes. no sleep in the night because he had to do all the technical stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I have allergies to technique, to software, and that is why I have such problems with Photoshop. Uh, maybe it would make my images much better, but if I am too stupid to learn Photoshop, I have to take the images in a better way. So Mukesh did all what is technical part and made this presentation in this wonderful way. I have only images and I love to speak about images and I would love if we meet uh, one day and go out and take images. Big, big thanks for inviting me and for giving me this opportunity and you gave me all more than friendly words. And that means a lot to me because when I started with photography, I was in three different photo clubs and in none photo clubs, they looked at me as uh, if I could become a photographer in, at any day in, uh, in future. And they always said, 10 years later, when you have a rear camera, you need DSLR, you need four frame. And both I have not. And then they said, oh, it is not complete sharp. For example, this image with um, the figure in it, Mukesh likes so much in the uh, tunnel. Uh, and they said, oh, it is not sharp at any point. Uh, so forget it, uh, but maybe one day you will learn it. And so it is not um, normal for me to get such friendly uh, words and um, I would say in the last one and a half years, I have noticed, forget all what they tried to tell you in this first three years when you had the idea, go to a normal photo club and learn it. Um, now I get the feedback, you can do what you do. And that is a new feeling for me and a complete well feeling for me. Right. And that is why I want to help other people follow your idea um, what is important for you, that is important. And you can uh, try to help others to reach that. And that is what you do to me with your words and your attention. So I thank you very, very much. Million times. Be blessed. Thank you very much, Baba. Thank you. Today, at the end, I'm more happy compared to in the morning today. Because <laughs> the webinar so well managed well timed it started at seven o'clock and we are going to finish before nine o'clock so it was fantastically managed uh, because of you only because you you presented your photographs in such Amazing, a nice yeah. way you you spoke about every image but in very brief and with salient points all in time Mukesh. first i was nervous then i gave it to you then you were nervous. <laughs> And now we are all happy. <laughs> uh, do you know, I, uh, 
uh, I get energy from Ireland from Brian Hopper. <laughs> For everything yeah. I work, I get energy from Brian I, Hopper from Ireland. I just wonder, Mukesh, are you a snake charmer? <laughs> <laughs> because you you charm you would charm the uh, you, you would be very good at it anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone and good night to all. We'll make, good night everybody. And our photo director, principal of IPA, meeting on five plus on nineteenth of December at seven pm. We have our next ninth DCC photo webinar to be presented by. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.